This is the Wizard at News. Roughly a quarter of Americans have used ChatGPT since the Chatbox 2022 release, according to the Pew Research Center. And every query exacts a cost. Chatbots use an immense amount of water to respond to user questions and. Simply keeping the bot's servers cool enough to function in data centers takes a toll on the environment. While the exact burden is nearly impossible to quantify, the Washington Post worked with researchers at the University of California Riverside to understand how much water and power OpenAI's Chat GPT using the GPT-4 language model released in March 2023 consumes to write the average 100-word email. A 100-word email generated by an AI chatbot using GPT-4 once requires. 519 milliliters of water, a little more than one bottle. Once weekly for a year requires 27 liters, about 1.43 water cooler jugs. Once weekly for a year by one out of 10 working Americans, roughly 16 million people, requires. Four hundred and thirty-five million, two hundred and thirty-five thousand, four hundred and seventy-six liters, equal to the water consumed by all Rhode Island households for one point five days. In completing those calculations, these servers, typically housed in data centers, generate heat. Often, water systems are used to cool the equipment and keep it functioning. Water transports the heat generated in the data centers into cooling towers to help to escape the building, similar to how the human body uses sweat to keep cool. Where electricity is cheaper or water comparatively scarce, electricity. Is often used to cool these warehouses with large units resembling air conditioners. That means the amount of water and electricity an individual query requires can depend on the data center's location and vary widely. Even in ideal conditions. Data centers are often among the heaviest users of water in the towns where they are located. Data centers with electrical cooling systems are raising concerns by driving up residents' power bills and taxing the electric grid. Data centers require massive amounts of energy to support other activities, such as cloud computing, and artificial intelligence has only increased that load. If a data center is located in a hot region and relies on air conditioning for cooling, it takes a lot of electricity 
to keep the servers at a low temperature. After a lengthy court battle, the Oregonian newspaper forced Google to disclose how much data centers were using in the Dalles, about 80 miles east of Portland. It turned out to be nearly a quarter of all the water available in the town. Before chatbox can even fulfill a request, a huge amount of energy is spent training them. The large language models that allow chatbox like ChatGPT to generate lifelike responses all require servers to analyze millions of pieces of data. It can take months to train these advanced computer models. Tech companies such as Google, Meta, and Microsoft are scrambling to build data centers. Big tech companies have made numerous pledges to make their data centers greener by using new cooling methods. Those climate pledges are often not met. In Northern Virginia, home to the world's highest concentrations of data centers, citizen groups have protested construction of these buildings, saying they are not only loud energy hogs that do not bring in enough long-term jobs, but are also eyesores that kill home values. In July 2024, Google released its most recent environmental report showing its carbon emission footprint rose by 48%, largely due to AI and data centers. Tech companies such as NVIDIA will keep creating computer chips that generate more kilowatts of power per server to do more computations. Source Washington Post, September 18th, 2024.